In London, it took weeks before we were finally allowed to meet the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Although we all wanted to talk, the British only invited Joachim to the meeting. When Joachim returned, he was white as a ghost. He told us that they knew about everything, but could do nothing. They told him that the only solution was to win the entire war and bring the Nazis to justice in its aftermath. I was beyond devastated. Everything we did was for nothing. But Greta wasn't moved. Her thoughts were elsewhere, in Warsaw. The Warsaw Uprising was the largest home army operation in the history of occupied Poland. The inhabitants of Warsaw stood against the German oppressors. Every citizen of Warsaw wanted to help, so even the women and children fought. What they lacked in experience, they made up for with courage and hope. Besides, just like in the Paris Uprising, the Poles had hoped that the Allies would come to help them. And they believed that the approaching Red Army would join the fight as well. But the slaughter of countless Poles was in the Soviets' favor. Thanks to this, their own invasion and occupation would be less problematic. Fortunately, within the Red Army, there were those for whom the fate of the Polish insurgents could not be ignored. The Berlings Army was an armed force created mainly from Polish prisoners who were previously deported to Siberia. For these people, fighting alongside the Soviets was their only hope of seeing their homeland again. Berlings soldiers managed to convince their superiors to let them join the uprising. For Stalin, they were nothing more than cannon fodder anyway. Under the cover of night, Led, with the rest of the group, and together with the soldiers from Berling's army, crossed the Vistula River and reached the western side of Warsaw. There, they joined the fight. A battle which, despite their hopes, had no chance of victory. What a mess. Looks like the whole city became a ruin. I don't even recognize these places, even though I was born and raised nearby. We have to keep moving. If we don't want to become one of the dead heroes here, we have to find some insurgents and join them. Agreed. At the end of the street lies a square. Oh, shit! Take cover! Fucking Kraut marksmen are hidden in the buildings. They've got Goryevsky. We gotta smoke them out and avenge him! Hold your horses. Now I've got the highest rank here, we do it my way. You're not my commander. You're a Polish soldier, right? So shut up and listen to him, or I'll make you. Thanks, Evold. Listen, we've been here before many times, and we will resolve it our way. You wait here for us until the street is passable. Can't we just move around or go somewhere else? We're here to kill some Germans, right? Yeah, and we're also here to help these people. Exactly. We have to clear out these buildings ahead. Affirmative. Got it. Alright, so welcome to Reserva. How may I pronounce it? I was it now. This guy is looking at him and I. Why so gloomy, little brother? <laughs> You're not throwing stupid jokes around anymore, either. Me? I think it's the weather. <laughs> right. The weather. Eveld, all my friends back home are probably shot, or on their way to the Gulag. I'm among the ruins of fucking Warsaw, a city I've never ever seen. What the fuck am I doing here? Helping the only friends left. You're not my friend, Eveld. Fuck you, Lucas. Okay. Yeah. I feel a little better now. Alright, first time I heard that conversation. Ida. Go ahead. Okay. And is anyone watching him? Uh, I believe. No. Oh. 
But this guy could see us. Germans in the uh, sewage or skeletons, I suppose. Uh, I wonder now you did this. Um, I mean, that, that, that's one thing I I wonder. Why do you... S I swear that looked like fucking... But isn't it? Isn't that like... Manfred's... Uh, saw me there. Oh, the officer. Oh, God. That, that was close. Right, so... Rusham, go ahead.
like what? What? <laughs> Clip through the floor. What the hell? Oh well, if it's hidden there then Both of you. Lucas will be seen. It's a fun way of doing this. Um, Throwing stone. Okay, never mind. I didn't have to do that anyway. Uh,
take these guys. And let's just make sure. Five and oh no, you haven't. And let's see if it will work this time as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, I'll take two. Care of him. It's a good, good thing that there are some pillars around. Otherwise, like holy shit, this tower would have just fallen. Okay, where's Lucas? There, I'm gonna get down here again. We're gonna take rubble. Approaching. I'm going down. Jasne. Also, the first time playing this mission was like, wow, holy shit, like, damn. Oh 
yet. They will be in the way, so I have to wait for them to move. Wonders, but uh, it did. Yeah, moving up there. Looks clear. Hey guys, come on! Moving! I took some maps from Graevsky. Looks like there's a church ahead. Seems like a good place to look for any living soul. Let's go. There's only one on left or what? Oh, oh you didn't have ammo either. Okay, we need to looks clear. Hey guys, come No on. we we don't have time for that. I took some to. maps from Graevsky. Looks like there's a church ahead. Seems like a good place to look for any living soul. Let's go.
so much destruction. I really love this city once. Better pray for it not becoming your grave. I do, Lucas. Constantly. Okay, I have a feeling that the uh, Polish soldiers can't die, actually. But they, they can really... Okay, so that, that's... That explains what they can just fucking deal with everybody. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Help? Oh, I need your help. Maybe you should just shoot me, please. Find some Germans then. They find pleasure in shooting people. Why the fuck did we agree to do all this? Almost all our people are dead. And being injured here means death as well. We're what's left of O1 Company. Call me Bandit. We've almost no munitions left, no medication. Most of my men are wounded. Now we're talking. We will help you get out of this mess. There is no getting out, big guy. Just leave this godforsaken city. Maybe we should. We've got our orders. Any ideas where we can find ammunition to help you out? No idea. You can check the park nearby. The Carpathian group was stationed there, but it's been wiped out lately. They were much better supplied than us. Beware the mines, though. The Germans laid many in the park in case Carpathians wanted to withdraw, but they never got the chance. All clear. Any hints on how we get in there in the safest way? I don't know. Try through the sewers. It's the safest place in the city. It's another task for four of us. You Siberian rejects stay here and keep these men alive. Siberian rejects. I like it. Yes, sir. Can you believe this shit? What? This city. Ah, the damage. Well, it looks just like most settlements we passed through in Russia after the Luftwaffe did their shit. But yeah, the scale is much bigger here. Can't fucking believe it. I understand occupying territories to suck them dry, but with this... Making examples. Yeah. 